Well, listen, because all they did was pretend to be your friend. They wanted to pull you in, but they couldn't, couldn't win. Because when they mess with you, they mess with God too. And now they're angry and mad. Cause you got joy and you ain't sad. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, oh, pray, pray for your enemies today, yeah, yeah. Pray, woo, ooh, 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 ooh. I love you, chosen ones, and I just want you to know that you deserve to be happy. I want you to know that we intend as a chosen tribe, as a chosen family to resonate in the frequency of love. I want you to also know that we're surrounded by people that pretend to be consciously awake but they're still in their in their transition and they may not be quite as awakened as you are. So I, we don't sit in a seat of judgment, but what we do or what we've learned to do as chosen people is to be still and allow the energies to manifest and observe situations to determine if we want to respond or be involved in a situation. And I just wanted to reach out to someone today who may be in a situation where whenever you say something to somebody, they will take your words and they will twist them to cause confusion in your life. You could tell the person that the light is green and they will sit there and argue and say, no, it was yellow. But when you looked up, that light was in fact green and they will go on and on in the middle of their mind to get you pulled in to their mindset, to get you pulled in to their idea, to get you pulled in to their brokenness. See, I want you to understand something that the enemy uses people to get you off of your peace to get you out of happiness, to steal your joy. The enemy wants to use people to occupy your mind so that you can have no peace. The enemy wants to use people that no matter what you say, chosen ones, they found an alt with you. The enemy will use a person's problem and will enter the mind of a person and put that person into your environment, into your space, into your life just for a season. And that person problems, they want to un unleash the, the wrath of all the things that they've gone to gone through on you. They want to take their mindset and their issues and make it your problem. But it's not our problem because we're conscious creators and we understand that everything is you pushed out. So if you have a problem because I said the light was green and you want to argue in circles to convince me to apologize that it was in fact yellow, then baby, you got it. Chosen ones, I want to reach out today to let you know that it is a spirit of confusion in the airwaves. It is a spirit of confusion that's entering into some of your lives through people who masquerade and act like they're a friend, through family members that say that they're indeed happy for you, through co-workers that say that they've got your back, that they're pushing for you. I am letting you know that the devil is using all of these many facets of human beings, circumstances, and people to steal your joy, to steal your peace, to say that you are lie, to say that you're not spiritual, to say that you're not chosen, to say that you are not a peculiar 
your people that God selected before you even know your name in this dimension. They want to make mockery of God in you and call you a lie. They want to take your words and twist them because they have an ought with you. And the reason that they have an ought with you chosen ones it's because the spirit of God lives inside of you. The reason that they're frustrated with you today, chosen ones, is because you won't lower your level of intelligence and spirituality to jump in a pit of fire to go back and forth in an argument with them over absolutely nothing. The reason that they have a problem with you is because you have confidence, because you know who you are and who you belong to. The reason they have a problem with you is because you decided a long Long time ago to trust in the Lord with all of your heart, with all of your mind and all of your soul and lean not on your own understanding, but in all of your ways, you acknowledge him and he will guide you. He will direct you. He will make you be still. He will make you keep your peace. He will hold you back. He will let you remain silent as he fight on your behalf. So I just want to say to somebody that may be confronted with a spirit of controversy who may be confronted with a spirit of confusion, who may be confronted with a spirit of arguments, who may be confronted with a spirit of purified darkness. I want you to know today that you don't have to say a word. I want you to know today that, honey, let that go. I want you to know today that you belong to the Lord and he always fights our battle. I want to go ahead and seal this deal. I'm going to give you a little word on this. Over in Exodus 14 and 14, 14 the Lord shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace be still, be silent. The Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. You should hold your position. You should hold silence. You should hold your posture. See, whenever the enemy is involved trying to pull you into a waltz of hell and confusion and want to pull you down and Oscar the Grouch's trash can, baby, you don't ever have to say a word because if you sit there and be still, the Lord will allow you to see the enemy taking people and just tossing their emotions all around. So the question now becomes for you chosen ones. When a person triggers you, because the enemy used people to do that, when a person masquerades as a friend and you find out that that person was an imposter, when a person so dear and so close to you hurt you and flip that like it was your fault, are you going to choose joy and peace and stillness? Or are you going to choose trying to defend yourself and argue and confusion? I already know what you're going to do. You're going to choose joy. You're going to choose love. You're going to be still. You're going to be quiet. You're going to choose peace. And the reason why I know is because you're chosen. And you know what? God always fight our battles. And until the next video, guys. Mm -hmm. Peace. Because I still believe in every last one of you. Bye now.